Thank you. Um, you. So today we are going to begin with uh, the new book, still relevant to Leofan, even same era as Leofan, but it's a shorter version, more intense, uh, more obvious in terms of uh, the importance of good, cultivating good deeds, uh, uh, encourage people, people to function, function uh, to, to um, released the captured beings from the market, from the butcheries, and also, you know, encourage uh, the five precepts. So no, no sexual misconduct, uh, no killing, uh, no uh, wrong speech. So as you can see that this is a cultural thing and Zi, also one of them is he teach everyone to be appreciative of words because back then getting a paper we don't have an industrial society back then. We are everything's handmade. It's really hard to get by. So to teach us how to you know take care of the paper and also the, the words you know to, to to be able to write the words is also hard. It takes a lot of calligraphy works. So all these good deeds he's been doing, letting go, of, uh, releasing the captured lives, no killing, no sexual misconduct, no uh, lying or any slanderous words. Just give you an overview so far. And he's poor, he's getting nowhere in his career. So to say it's a midlife crisis is understatement, I think it's worse than that. So he said, I didn't do anything wrong. You know, I've been doing all the good deeds. That's what he said, the good deeds. Why am I punished by the heavens? Or why am I punished like that? It's not fair. So, um, and he say to him, tells him his predicaments. I've been studying my whole life uh, since I was young. He's a, he's a talented man, by the way. Score high marks in the pre, pre examination. He has, he has been studying and he has been accumulating good karma. You know, he's been doing all the good things. But even now, his career does not develop into any way. He does not get uh, past, past his, he does not pass examinations. He does not get his life improved. And his children is not complete. Basically, he lost a son. He also, you know, lost six of his children to the stillborn. And his, his basic necessities is not complete. Food and dress, they are not um, well supplied. So he's very poor. And I have been uh, burning the, um, I have been sending the uh, reports to the kitchen gods so that can talk to the J emperor, basically in a way saying, please help me God. So he's been doing that every year, but you know, it's not working. So he tells everything to Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhang said, I have known, I have always been knowing what happened to your family for a long time. Uh, I heard about what happened to your family for a long time. Uh, but I have to say, Mr. Your mind is too bad. Your, your, your mind is too unwholesome, too evil. Why? Because you're a hypocrite. Directly, guys, directly. You're full of hypocrisy. You're full of hypocrisy. Because your whole, everything you say on that report that you burn to to the heavens, you know, like in Chinese, we burn the, everything we want to send up there, we, we burn it. Otherwise, we don't have a mailman. So that's the only way. But yeah, it works. So, um, but the whole piece of paper is full of crutch, full of 
Ah, uh, the heaven is not not fair to me. Think of that, right? Like I'm being good man. I'm 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 very good and I'm number one. But you know why is it why is it like that? Why am I facing that? So there's no sense of self reflection at all. So you are even you even humiliated the heavens, physically humiliated the the laws of nature. I think I don't think your punishment will stop here, and I don't think your punishment will. Uh, the scale of the punishment will stop here. It will be worst. And this Mr. Yu was like shocked. Because imagine he's been in his shell and he's thinking he's a good man. He's been doing all the good deeds. The heavens are unfair. The worlds are unfair. Nothing is fair to him. So he's like, what? And he, 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 he replied, I have heard that, well, Outside of the visibility of our you know, senses, we can't see. Uh, everything we do, if it's good, even it's small kind deeds, you it will be recorded. So I have been doing all the good deeds. I have been following the laws, and following the uh, teachings, precepts. You know, I have been doing that many years. How can I be hypocrite? Mister Zhang replies straightly. Let's take a let's take let's have a look at the real case, shall we? Uh, Mister, one of your um, one of your good deeds that you mentioned in the report, it says that si zi yi kuan, right? It's about taking care of the paper. I mean, okay, yeah, talk about letting go of life. You know, the releasing the capture of animals. So he do that in in front of others, but. When he go back, he has a pot of crabs and seafoods waiting there. So in one hand, he's releasing fish, crabs, birds into the seas or the air or even the land. In the other hand, he already prepared a lot of roasted meat or seafoods in his dinner. So it's hypocrite, right? One is one, two is two, but he's not. So, isn't this animal that you eat at home also called considered alive? Some ten thousand, the heaven likes to keep every being alive. So your compassion is fake. It's not real. You just do it in in front of others for a show. Let's talk about no uh, no lying. So, Mister, your way of saying that you have a very good uh, speech. I mean, you have a very good uh, way of speaking and you're very smart people. That means you're eloquent speaker. Uh, when you say, uh, when you, when people converse with you, you always have the ability to convince others. Uh, and however, not just convince others, sometimes even debate over others so that they can't even reply back to you. So, Mister, every time you open your mouth, you know your word will harm others. You're smart people, you know that. But um, you have been cultivating, you have been uh, keeping these habits of sarcasm that are quite uh, inappropriate, that hurts the people, even though you know it's not right. So he's being sarcastic all the time. He's always like uh, laughing uh, at others, at the expense of others. So not laughing with others, laughing at others. So it, it, in a sense, it, it feels hurt every time they talk to you because they like, feel personally attacked or something. So, and you can't stop it. You keep going, right? There's no tr stop of the train. So your tongue is like a sharp knife. Um, and this has pissed, I'm oh, sorry. This has angered the gods and the heavens heavenly beings and the ghosts as well. So this is what we call yin e. So last time in Liao Fang we talked about hidden goodness, yin yin de. This one is hidden badness, hidden evil. That means he's, he's appearing as a gentleman, a very you know mannered person, but when he speaks or when he thinks stuff, he's always selfish. And when he speaks stuff, he's always um, hurting other people. Uh, and he could not stop as well, even though he knows. 
So this thing, uh, we all need to reflect with him because sometimes we also have this kind of tendency to say words above and beyond what we want to say. And sometimes because of emotions, we might letting it out. So we need to learn how to put a stop to that. That's a mark of a person who's trying to reform himself. So it has angered not just humans, it angered the heavenly beings, basically the whole nature. All right. And you have been, this bad deed has been recorded in the reports, uh, has been recorded in the heavenly reports. So, uh, so I do not know, I do not know since when you actually live as a very kind hearted person. You never live as a kind hearted person at all in your whole life. My God, basically. So imagine someone just sit in front of you and take care of, like tear down the walls of every single bad deeds that have been done. Like looking at a piece of mirror and seeing all the dirts in your face. It's, I think not, not many people can take it and they will fall down because yeah, it's very important though. And then he said last time, uh, he, he hasn't, he's not stopping yet, Mr. Zhang. Because remember, this is asked by Mr. Yu. He's asking why is it not fair? Mr. Zhang would not come down and talk to him if he did not ask for it. So he asked why, so he's explaining why. So sexual misconduct, although you didn't do it, you didn't, you know, do anything outside, uh, anything inappropriate outside your marriage. But every time you see a pretty woman, you must, uh, you, you never stop looking at them. So like looking at a beautiful woman, your eye, your gaze will stop at them for a long time. Uh, so your heart has been moved uh, without any way of stopping it. That means your heart has been you know, following that beautiful woman. But because of your condition, it's not there. Therefore, you could not do anything outside your marriage. That means he has the intention to commit sexual misconduct or extramarital affair outside his marriage, but uh, because the condition is not met, so he could not do it. So he wants to, but he could not. <sighs> Let's not talk about others, look at myself and, and oh, at Aaron. Same, it's the same problem. Just be honest, like that's, that's the problem. And Mr. has, um, you have to think about that. Uh, think about a good person who deserve of marriage in history record. For a lot of them, they have they can hold themselves, they can hold their heart, not just not doing it, their heart, they can take back their heart in their own grasp, not allowing it to be seduced by the temptations especially in terms of sexual misconduct, it's very strong as the basis of our Sahara Buddhist term. So as you can see in the heavenly, uh, in the eyes of the heavenly people, in the eyes of the ghosts, the spirits, people who can see through everything, you are fake. This is a whole judgment basically. Think of a high court of America, Australia, they just sit there and list out every single thing you did with all the evidence and video record. So you have claimed to be a person, you have claimed as a person who abide by the teachings, by the precepts, you know, uh, of good precepts. Um, but uh, you have been breaking all of them, I think. So if even the person like you who say that they follow by the precepts still Break the precepts, uh, not let alone the others. Mr. Uh, all these uh, years you have been, so he follows after the, the sentence, giving the sentence. After all these years, all these reports that you have sent up to us, you know, have been burning all these reports to the heavens. We have received that, all right? So the emperor is very fair, the, the heavenly emperor, J Emperor. So J Emperor say, they asked me to, the God asked me to, you know, come down to the people's, uh, to the common realms, the people realm, to check, to investigate what you say. Is it true? 
and what you have done, good and bad. Uh, and when I reported and observing the deeds that you have done for all these years, there's not one, there's not an ounce of good deeds that is worth recording. Because back for them, you have to understand they have ability to um, break through the time and space in our modern terms. They can see basically a video lock in our Alaya consciousness. Think of it as USB drive. And it's not three terabyte, it's infinite terabyte. So they can use that record and see, just like we open up a video and archives of your deeds. And these deeds are recorded by yourself. No one's recording it. So you just need to take it out and just look what you did in the past, maybe this life, not talking about past life, this life, and what you have done when you're born and empty now. It's not one ounce of good deeds that's worth recording. So this is something we also need to look in ourselves. Always remember, have I any ounce of sincerity that's worth recording? So keep ourselves awake. And, but, what I saw is in your private residence, when you're living by yourself, outside the gaze of others, I have seen infinite, like endless greed, like unwholesome things, sexual misconduct, the urge to commit that, you know, uh, a lot of jealousy, a lot of extreme extremity, and a lot of arrogance looking down on people. So basically he gets listed. Number one is greed. All right. Number two is uh yin how to say uh sexual misconduct or thought they are uh breaching this uh sexual conduct. Number three is jealousy. Number four is um extreme extremity like very very um extreme the thought. Number five is arrogance gao ji parents so he always think about how to avenge people who are not kind to them. Uh, he also think about you know, the past and future. He's not in the present. He's always like, oh, how good was it in the past? Or in the future, oh, if I can get a lot of money. This is what, I think this is what they meant. Um, if I get a lot of money, what would I do? In the past, like, oh, I'd be very good. I'm smart. I passed my exam. It's good to reminisce, but if you stay in the past and and be a fantasy kind of people who fantasize about the future and forgot your actual present, your reality, and built upon, actually built upon it rather than thinking about it, then his life will not be the same. So, however, he has committed a very common mistake that we all did. Uh, either dwell in the past, past glory or something, or... Um, Fantasize about the future without putting any efforts. If I, if I, if I. So, so and then he follows with thinking, holding grudge. You know, who has treated me bad? Who has treated me well? I want to revenge something like that. And every of them is in your heart without stop, without any strain. So all these are considered evil thoughts. Uh, and it has been accumulated throughout these years. So obviously we are fair. I mean, we follow the laws of nature. What is the laws of nature? You read what you sow, right? It's just a matter of time when you sow what you read. So the laws of nature, so that the gods have recorded everything and say that your punishment is already here, right? In form of losing your stillborn and in, in form of everything else. So you could not escape this punishment because of all your evil deeds, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. So your punishment is not ended yet, let alone getting any merits or fortunes. So Mr. 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 Yu, Mr. Yu throughout this whole process, he's shock. He is shock. He never thought of that at all, I think. He's shock. And his response, he fell on the ground literally, like in a prostate um, position and cried, 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 cried. Uh, and say that, Mr. You have known everything I've written so well to a single letter. And even the past life, even the thing I did without, even my thoughts, without 
reading. Like something I do not tell others, right? This thing, I would hide it. You have, you have to make it so clear in words. You must be the kitchen god himself. And yeah, Mr. Mr. John uh, continues say, he didn't say, yes, it's me. Yes, pray to me. No, no. It's a man of virtue. So Mr. John keep, keep going with the point. He say, Mr. You have been a very, uh, you've been studying the sage sutras or this teachings of the good people, good teachings, teach you how to be good, how to be a saint. Uh, and also you like to be kind as well, to be honest, you, you do um, have a heart, you do, you do like to be good, right? Uh, you know that being good brings true joy. Uh, so, oh, when you hurt, some good words, maybe, you know, like Master Ching Kong saying something that awakes you, he, you are happy. Uh, you are very, um, no, sorry, when you heard a very good words of advice, you will be actively relaying it to others. So you spreading good words as well, literally the words of sages in order to encourage people to be good. And when you saw someone do the good deeds, you em encourage them to do good deeds. So he, his, his good, his characters, it's not entirely dark. He has, he has a bright spot, but it's very weak against the habits. However, you forget them immediately after you did that. So when you finish these good deeds, when you turn your head, you're back to your old habits. Because your confidence is not strong enough. So your confidence in the goodness is not strong. That means your 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 cultivation is not deep enough you cannot say it no matter what happened i would do it i don't care what what's happening i would do it. that 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 strong rooted uh, virtues so his his confidence is not strong in towards goodness and so his um true nature buddha nature or um, cannot be fully expressed out so ends up only have a face of goodness, but inside they are all uh, dirts. So you say that you have been saying good words, doing good deeds, but at each of them, the attitudes towards these acts and speech is one of kuyu in Chinese word. In English, it's um, it's uh, let's say un insincere. They, he did that just for the sake of doing it. He didn't do it because it's right. He didn't do it because it's his value. That means his confidence is not strong. So if it's your value, if it's your principle, it's more important than your life, basically. If you can strengthen that, you're willing to sacrifice, I mean, I'm talking about a very extreme example, you don't have to, but you're willing to let go of your life in order to preserve this principle. That is a very strong confidence root. But in, in a normal case, if you have a good a root in confidence in goodness is no matter what happens or no matter the pressure from higher ups or from, from surroundings, you do not change this principle easily. You hold on to what is right, uh, despite it hurts your benefit or something, or your face, something. So in the summary of all the bad deeds and the little good that he did, he summarized as the confidence is not strong in goodness. So hence he could not stay true to himself, right? And each of these deeds he says good are done insincerely. None of them is do it. None of them is done out of his heart. He's do it for the face. So it becomes a hypocrite. And then the whole brain is occupied with evil thoughts, unwholesome thoughts. Um, and it keeps coming and going away without stopping. It entangles your life, entangles your, your whole being, your act, your speech, your deeds. And even worse, you blame others for your own undoing. You blame the heavens, you blame the people, you blame the society. Something we need to think about. And it's like you're planting those seeds. You're planting those plants with thorns on the ground. Right? And you 
thought I could have, you know, reap. Uh, because you're planting something that are full of thorns. You could not get something as nice as, like, food. All right. So you're planting, like, all these thorns, all these, like, pricklings in the ground and hoping to reap something nice and sweet, like fruits or, like, uh, crops. So basically, his seed is wrong. He's planting a wrong seed. So how, how, how can you get any good deeds? How can you get any good karma? So, mister, please, from now on, every single greed, lust, yeah, I forgot that word, lust. Every single greed, lust, thought of greed, thought of lust, and thought of kechi. Now, in Chinese, we say, biao kechi. Kechi in this term is not saying that you do not do need to be mannered, but you do not need to, don't be fake. Basically. It is what it is, like, be real, like, when you, you need to do something, do something, all right, don't, don't fake <laughs> what I mean. So, first one is greed. Every time you have thought of greed, thought of lust, thought of um, hypocrisy, you know, trying to fake and mannerism, and yeah. uh, wondering thoughts. And all that, all that mess, uh, messy thoughts, wondering thoughts, messy thoughts. Um, first, when you in, when you face this thing, what you need to do is you need to encourage yourself, uh, work yourself up, like yong meng, ju meng li. You need to have that sort of a courage, be courageous to break through them, to say no to them, do not follow them. So he's like being being pulled by all these desires. He's a slave to his own desires. So be, 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 be courageous to stand up to these thoughts against them and then swipe, wipe them all clean. Do not allow them to fester. Ah, yeah. Clean them up one by one. Do not allow each of them controlling your life. Uh, I love this. It's like an army become like a righteous general saying that. It's like you only have one thought against a thousand of these thoughts. Right? Only think about good stuff. What is right. That's it. Don't think about oh my face and all that, you know, all that considerations. Those are the ones that fester into this kind of desires and all that. So what you need to do is every time you have lead, greed, lust, hypocrisy, um, wondering thoughts and etc etc all of these mess messy thoughts complications get up your courage wipe them all clean clean them all up one by one and during this focus on only one thought and what is that one thought i want to do what is right only think about what is right what is good benefiting others and if you can do it in within your capability do not think of do not think of repayment. Do not think of how people repay me. Do not think of the the fame. Do not think of benefit. Do not think of the fame. Just do it because it's correct. That's it. That means have root in your goodness. And no matter that state, that thing, no matter it's big or small or easy or hard, be patient. Be grounded when you do it. One by one, step by step. If you could not do it within your capability, your heart must be there. You must be earnest. It has to be like, I want to do it at the first moment I have the ability. You need to have that kind of mentality. Um, only then your good deeds or your good thoughts is considered as past. So then, good merits and stuff like that. So don't think of good merits when you do that. That's why he said, 不出包不污米 do not think of, oh, I get good merits. Only know that if you're earnest, naturally you will get. Because you planted the right seeds. Obviously, with the right condition, you will get the right fruit. So when you do it, you just focus on how to plant the seeds properly. How to water it. Not when do I get the crops. No, that's not the point. So, so that's what he said. This, this part is the best part, I think. Um, he's telling us, know what wrong, what goes wrong with us. Know that we are keep getting drag into these habits and 
And Yu, Mr. Yu was in the era where people are still quite um, uh, shy away from doing indecent stuff publicly. We are not in the era anymore. We are way above that. We are way beyond that. Everything that could, you could imagine could happen. It's a very open world. So think about this open world. Uh, think about even more messy stuff that could happen. And then think about what he said. Doesn't matter. You need have need all. You, all you need is have courage to wipe them all clean. Know what is right. That that's where you need to be fun and ego. Knowing that what is right, what is wrong. That's the first thing. And then looking at all this complication stuff, tidy them up. Right? You know it's wrong. So tidy them up, put it in the box, and then focus on what is good. And keep doing it. When you do it, there is a problem of ability with whether you could do it or you couldn't do it. If you could not do it, you always need to have that heart to want to do it or encourage people who could do it to do it and help them. You can do a lot of things. You, if As long as you're here, you have the heart and then you try your best within your capability, your circle to complete these good deeds, then this kind of mentality is considered as good deeds, good thoughts. So there's a standard of being good. Hence, there's a standard of getting good merits and fortunes. If you could do it, do not rush. First, do not think of repayment. Do not think of fame. So no fame, no benefit. Do not think of these two. Just think of how to do it right, how to do it well, how to actually helping people. And it doesn't matter how big the project is or small, how easy or how hard it is, be earnest. So what you need to do, you need do what you need to do. Prepare what you need to prepare. And be patient when you implement it. When it's an obstacle, like Master Ching Kong is trying to build a lot of like people like the Lao Lin Yuan and all that, and there's an obstacle of people you know, slandering him and stopping him from um, in Singapore back then. He's not like jumping up and down, he's just like, this is a condition. And I'm trying to do that and people misunderstood. And I have explained myself here. And next time when I do good deeds, I have learned not to make it high profile or not to promote it too much. Keep it low. Only people who are interested should know, that's it. So, same thing, be patient. Sometimes you might not even make it, but if you started this good beginning, people will continue. So, yeah. And because we have only six minutes, um, he's going to say even more interesting stuff in the in next part. So, let's make a summary for today's session. Second of all is the content of the book. Uh, this one is a shorter version of Leo Fan. Think of it. It's an intense version of Elfman because it has um, take out even more important part, the part that you can immediately put to your own self-reflection course, like you use that as a mirror to yourself. Um, there's a saying I would like to share with my fellow friends. Here is in Chinese, Mr. Tang, um, Emperor Tang of Ta uh, Dynasty, uh, Emperor Taizong of Tang Dynasty, the, uh, the man who opened up the golden age of Tang, he has mentioned one thing. Uh, using the mirrors, we can correct our attire. You know, reflect from the mirror, reflection from the mirrors, will, uh, copper mirrors will correct our attires. Uh, um, if reflecting on the history, of the past, history is the past, histories of the people. We understand rise and fall of an empire, of a company, of a people. Uh, if you look at the example of a people, uh, you, will, you will be aware of what is right and what is wrong, or um, what is actually beneficial and what is actually Lost. So, looking at Mr. Yu Jin Yifong, I hope you can have this attitude of like we're reflecting on the mirror. So, looking at him, we look at ourselves. Any part of it, uh, did we do it more than him? I think I did. Any part of it, did I actually uh, do it better than him? So, this is what he means by de shi, like pro, uh, uh, pros and cons, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
following the example of others or reflecting upon the deeds of others, we will understand what is the pro and what's the cons of everything. So looking at the cons of Mr. Yu, which is a lot, and looking at him means looking at us, do I have the cons? And looking at the pros of the Mr. Yu or looking at the cons of Mr. Yu and understanding I don't have this, I actually do not have this. Please do not lie to yourself, guys. Like be honest. Like I didn't really did not do this. That means it's your pro and preserve it. So take the take the advantage of I mean learn from the example of others so that we can be better version of ourselves. That's um, basically the summary of uh, this part of Yuji Kong 2008. Mr. Yu meets the kitchen block. Um, I've been um, say reading this quite few but I, I really like these stories. We, when we reach the next session we could give you a proper context historical context, uh, uh, characters, introductions properly, along with a more smooth, ordered, logical um, explanation of the books. So we'll focus more on the original text uh, in this new book of ours. Um, and only when we finish properly the first round, we'll expand upon it to our modern times. Obviously, I'll do that during our speech, but I would focus more on the original text this time. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, I hope to see you guys next, next session. Uh, okay. Any uh, feedback or something? Now we just follow the, I mean, we understand that brain is a wave, right? And, and, and everyone has like if if we, if our frequency is not matching, we will not see you. We will not be able to communicate properly. You will be like, "What are you talking about? What do you mean?" And then we won't be able to talk anymore. So the reason why we are here is we have the same frequency. 